Okay, so today we're going to talk about multiplying and dividing polynomials. Now, the dividing polynomials will only be doing a polynomial divided by a monomial. Uh, the, the, the trinomials divided by a binomial will be a little bit later. We will get to those, though. Okay, so remember, when you do multiply and you have the same base, you add the exponents. You're going to multiply the coefficients, same base, add the exponents. Okay, so let's try... Once you give the try this a try, so put me on pause and then come back. Give yourself a minute to do it. Okay, so we have here 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. x to the first times x to the third is x to the fourth. And y to the second times y to the second is y to the fourth. Okay, dividing. Remember, uh, you're going to divide the coefficients. If you have the same base, you subtract the exponents. All right, so notice 4 divided by 6. I can't do 4 divided by 6, but I can reduce it to 2 thirds. So that's 2 thirds. That's a 3 there. 2 thirds. Uh, we have x to the fifth divided by x to the first is x to the fourth. And then we have x to the second divided by, uh, sorry, y to the second divided by y to the eighth is y to the negative six. But remember, we talked about negative exponents. We don't normally like negative exponents, so let me rewrite this. Remember, negative exponents should go into the denominator. And that kind of uh, makes sense because, I'm just going to rewrite this whole thing. Because look at the y, y's. I have two y's on top. I have a y to the second. That means two y's on top. That really means this, y and y. And eight y's on the bottom, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if these two reduce out, then I'm left with six y's. And look where the y's are. They're in the denominator. So I have four over six reduces to two thirds. I have uh, x to the fifth divided by x to the first is x to the fourth. That's going to be in the numerator. And then I have y to the second divided by y to the eighth, but I have more y's in the denominator, so that's y to the sixth in the denominator there. Oh. Let's try that one again. Sorry. All right, so that's two thirds. X to the fourth in the numerator and y to the sixth in the denominator. All right, so let's take a look at the last one. X, 5x divided by 5x. Now remember, anything divided by itself is equal to 1. So be careful. A lot of kids all say, well, they cancel each other out, so I get 0. That's not true. They don't cancel each other out. When you say cancel, you're saying 0. It's not 0. Anything divided by itself is equal to 1. All right, so now... Multiplying polynomials, so just a couple things to write here. Let me just move all this stuff up top here. When you multiply polynomials, you're going to first make sure you distribute. Uh, if you need to double distribute, then you double distribute. And if you have the same base, so we just went over this before, if you have the same base, you add exponents. Okay, so let's take a look at a number one over here. So I'm going to distribute here. So multiply the coefficients. I have one half times four. One half times four is two. I have x to the second times x is x to the third. y times y to the third is y to the fourth. All right, and then we're going to distribute over here. So I have 1 half times negative 3 halves is negative 3 fourths. Um, I have an x squared here. Sorry, I have an x squared here, but no x over here. So that means you're just going to put the x squared, just carry it over. And then I have a y times y is y squared. Okay, so let's take a look at number 2. Okay, so we are multiplying two binomials together. Uh, you could double distribute. Uh, if you want to multiply up and down, you can. Uh, with binomials, I like to just double distribute. So I'm going to multiply 2x times 3x, and I get 6x squared. And 
And then I'm going to multiply 2x times negative 1, I get negative 2x. And then 3 times 3x is positive 9x. And then 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. And then remember, combine like terms, so I get 6x squared. Negative 2x plus 9x is negative, uh, positive 7x, sorry. And then minus 3. Okay, so let's try the next one. That's a... Uh, the next one here is a binomial times a trinomial. I'll show you how to do this super easy rather than doing this like double distribute. It becomes a gigantic mess if you try to double distribute. So let me just move this stuff up. Okay, so for these, what I like to do is multiply up and down. So I'm just going to rewrite this. I'm going to put the longer polynomial on top. So that's 5x squared minus x plus 3. And then I'm going to put the binomial on the bottom, so that's 3x plus 2. And I'm just going to start multiplying. So how you do this is you multiply the 2 times everything, and then you're going to leave a space when you get to the 3x, so you're going to multiply the 3x times everything in the numerator also. And then everything will line up. It looks pretty cool. So we have 2 times 3, that's positive 6. 2 times, remember there's really a 1 here, 2 times negative 1x is negative 2x, and 2 times 5x squared is positive 10x squared. All right, so now I'm going to leave this space here. All right, so don't put anything there. Now I'm going to multiply the 3x. 3x times 3 is positive 9x, so I put it right underneath the 2x so that my like terms line up. And then 3x times negative 1 is negative, sorry, 3x times negative 1x is negative 3x squared. And then we have 3x times 5x squared is positive 15x to the third. All right, so now you just draw this line underneath, draw the line, black line underneath, and now you're just going to add down. So I have positive 6. Uh, negative 2x plus 9x is positive 7x. Negative 10x squared minus 3x is positive 7x squared. And then I have the 15x to the third. So it's better to multiply uh, the binomials times the trinomials like this because it just keeps it nice and neat for you. Okay, let's get on to dividing. Okay, so when you divide... You're going to make sure you divide each numerator by the denominator. So let's write that down. Divide each numerator by the denominator. I don't know what's wrong with my style. It's just not working right. And uh, if you have the same base, remember this rule, same base, you subtract the exponents. So same base, subtract exponents. Okay, so let's take a look at the first one. So I have this polynomial in the numerator, this trinomial in the numerator divided by the monomial. So this is really, this is really 15 x to the fifth divided by 5x squared minus 20x to the third divided by 5x squared plus 5x squared divided by 5x squared. So it's each numerator divided by the denominator. Now you're going to divide. So 15 divided by 5 is 3. x to the fifth divided by x to the second is x to the third minus 20 divided by 5 is 4. x to the third divided by x to the second is x. And remember, anything divided by itself is equal to 1. Okay, and let's try it with the last problem. So I'm just going to move everything up. All right, so I'm going to take the polynomial, the trinomial, the 6, 6x six to the third, y to the seventh. I'm going to divide it by 3x to the third y 
plus 12x to the fifth y to the second divided by 3x to the third y minus 3x to the fourth y over 3x to the third y. Okay, so now let's divide them. All right, so we have 6 divided by 3 is 2. Now, x to the third divided by x to the third, that, remember, anything divided by itself is 1. So I don't want to put the 1 down because then it's going to look like 21. So since I already have a 2 here, I don't need to put the 1 down. So just know, I'm crossing it out, but I'm not crossing it out because it's gone. It's 0. It's not 0. It just reduced to 1, and I already have a number here, so I don't need to put the 1 down. y to the 7th divided by y is y to the 6th. Plus 12 divided by 3 is 4. x to the 5th divided by x to the 3rd is x to the 2nd. y to the 2nd divided by y is y. Minus. All right, so I have 3 divided by 3. That's a 1. Okay, you don't... Uh, we'll put the 1 down for now. I have x to the 4th divided by x to the 3rd is x. And then again, I have a y divided by y that is reduced to 1. Since I already have the 1 written down, you don't have to put it. All right, so that's it, and we'll practice tomorrow in class tomorrow. Have a good night.